time, just as a rocket travels through space, Radatron, the temporal computer through which scientists may look millions of years into time. Or through the temporal transfer unit, the diamond inspiron, be transported to ages when dinosaurs ruled the world and storms of unimaginable fury scour the surface to the roaring accompaniment of fiery volcanoes. Radatron, gateway to time. Boy, what an egg. Wow, where did it come from? It's the egg of a Tyrannosaurus, a dinosaur that lived over 100 million years ago. I picked it up on my last trip through the Radatron. We'll use the growth beam to hatch it. Oh, a tiny Tyrannosaurus. It's cute. It's still only a tiny baby. Yes, but it's been exposed to the growth beam and will grow up quickly. Doctor, may I keep it as a pet? All right, until it grows too big to handle. <laughs> Gee, thanks, Doctor. Dr. Jiminy, look at my new pet. Hello, Judy. Well, a baby Tyrannosaurus. Her name is Tina. What's the matter, Tina? The world of a hundred million years ago is showing on the Radatron screen. Those are her close relatives. I imagine she's homesick. Tina, wait! What are you doing? Don't go in there, Tina! Wait! Tina, come back! Judy, don't go in there. Come out here. Judy. Oh, no. The Diamond Inspiron time transporter got turned on. I've sent Judy a hundred million years back in time. The alarm. Oh, my. The Radatron room. What happened, Professor? Tina got loose and Judy followed her, and I accidentally sent them back 100 million years to the dinosaur age. We have to go and get her immediately. Professor, let's hurry. You're right. Come on, let's go. Just a minute. You can't go in there on foot. That's right, sir. We'll use the gyro car. Fine. It's well equipped. There they are. Judy! Tina! Tina, where are you? <coughs> Judy! We've come to get you out of here. Where are you? Judy! I hear George. George, here! shoot. It seems friendly. Judy, you know that Tyrannosaurus saved your life. Look, it's Tina. Tina saved me. See, there's the ribbon I gave her. You're right, it is Tina. She'd been exposed to the growth beam and grew to full size quickly. Tina, you remembered me and came to my rescue. Oh, thank you, Tina. Judy, I'm afraid we can't take Tina back with us. She's just grown too big for the lab now. Tina, we have to go now. I want you to have this to remember me by. Bye, Tina.
Excuse me, Dr. Gregg. We just finished assembling the dinosaur bones that you dug up the other day. Look, that's Tina. Tina's skeleton. See the necklace I gave her? Gee, it sure is. After a hundred million years, our friend Tina comes back to stay with us. May I put a ribbon on her, Doctor? Certainly, Judy. She's entitled to it. 